focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2015 EY Entrepreneur of the Year Award. EY Entrepreneur of the Year 2015 recognized and rewarded India's most exceptional entrepreneurs and business leaders who have brought about a change through their exemplary work, sheer grit and determination. Celebrating the success stories of these winners is the Passion to Win series showcasing India's best innovators and game changers. Hello and welcome to a four-part special series, Passion to Win, celebrating the winners of the EY Entrepreneur of the Year 2015 Awards. I'm Shireen Bhan. Now through the series, we'll bring you stories of 10 of India's finest entrepreneurs and innovators who've revolutionized their industry through innovative thinking and inspirational leadership. Our first entrepreneur has transformed the e-commerce space with his innovation that's redefined mobile payments in the country. Paytm is today one of India's largest and widely preferred mobile wallet service platforms. But what led to its origin? Let's find out. A prodigy from a Hindi medium school, Vijay Shekhar Sharma raced through his education and started studying engineering at the tender age of 15. But soon he had to face his biggest block. I did my schooling from a town near Aligarh and it was Hindi medium school. I was uh, class 12th, I completed when I was 14 year old. So I was a little early. I got this time to convert my Hindi medium knowledge into English medium knowledge. So I used to read two books together, understanding Samantar Pant's but Sandharit called parallel plate capacitor and Prathirod being called resistance. And this way I appeared at engineering entrance tests where the answers were written and I could guess the question by reading the answer. That if it is being asked as speed, so it is miles per hour, so it means it is a speed question. So lucky to get into Delhi College of Engineering, I got selected for engineering branch of electronics and communications. Um, now the problem was that selection was easy but education was tougher because I had this movement which in Hindi movie Tare Jabibar happens when the teacher is teaching and your alphabets are flying because you do not know what teacher is speaking. In fact, I used to be class topper in my school days and soon I had become a backbencher because when teacher was asking me a question I couldn't have answered so out of embarrassment I started to become a backbencher. I was a 15 year old teenage who was at the backbench immediately after coming from school which was I was topper off and in Hindi medium. He tried out various internet businesses but soon discovered another opportunity. This is, this is 1999, we were at this company which was being, we were building a software for US companies. Effectively, it was uh, feeling bad immediately because we became more or less a product development arm, but the product was being developed for US. So it was a depressing feeling. India was going through this euphoria of internet and there was a dot com boom happening in India. And we, we, so it was a very interesting feeling and a sad feeling first and then a mixed feeling later. Uh, first was, how horrible it is to sell your company so early on while everybody else is building millions of dollars worth companies and later on it was mixed feeling because we started seeing these companies are going down that at least we made money <laughs> these companies were at least paper money we so i left that company in 11 and a half months so that i can start something of my own and internet business had a problem. There was no revenue way back in 99 and 2000. There was no advertising revenue online or the commerce obviously didn't exist much. So I discovered a new way to charge the consumer for content and that was telecom operator. What if, if a telecom operator who's sending you monthly bill or whom you're paying for every call also becomes a charging method for the content that you buy. So that is when, when we sort of invented a business model which was uh, new for telcos and interesting that we could build a platform which is software, hardware and content by ourselves and we will give it to telcos to sell to the consumer and then take a revenue share. And in a hindsight it was software as a service, it was cloud because we were building a software cloud on top of it with content was being distributed. Well, 
I think Indian telcos, because they did not have large amount of capex to deploy, liked this business model, who traditionally would have otherwise bought these systems. They were like, okay, you're giving me for free. If we make money, you make money. It sounds cool. So I remember that when day one we started music service, uh, it was very hit. It was incredibly hit. And another service was live astrology, when you can talk to a panditji by calling online on a phone call. And these services were you paying by the minute, and we making a percentage of what you're paying. And the risk on the business was whether the technology cost and system cost can get recovered or not. So we were ready to take a risk because we sort of had understanding that software will move to the cloud anyways, and this is like a cloud. So ended up making a profitable business, except that there was no cash coming in time. Then in 2010, he came up with the big idea, Paytm. Once we started to sell a lot of content, uh, we we became sort of 100 million songs a month kind of service. So people were downloading a lot of music in those days, ringback tones were popular. But it, at the same point in time, it was becoming crowded out there. So we wanted to move it next in the value chain, which was acquiring customers. So from just being a content company, we became a mobile marketing company. So Indian telecom operators and brands wanted a customer lifecycle using feature phones or phones, mobile phones. So we created a mobile phone-led marketing company. And it became another hit for us because this is where we started to make a lot of money. And today we run 25,000 of a large cloud, which is hundreds of millions of users use it every month. And that is the kind of customer insights and data-driven marketing that we do in India today. And that is what 197 score business till 2010 was. And 2011 is when we started Paytm. I think I always had an urge to build one of the incredible brand out of this country. And the urge to build a consumer service and consumer brand name was so big on me that I talked to my board that if we take this opportunity and build a consumer facing product, would you be fine with that? Because traditionally we've been doing B2B, the business to business selling of the software. And I think board was totally against it because they said that Vijay, you are a great technology guy, you are a great salesman to the businesses, but we are afraid that you might not be a great brand builder, you might not be a great consumer brand builder and a service player there. So uh, I sort of had an interesting conversation on the board where I said, I am betting my million dollar on the table that you give me a chance to create this and if you think that it is not created, then you can take care of this money being distributed among all of you, the shares that I put on the table. And when it, then it came a decision of what business would you do? Whether would you build a similar content services business that we've done, gaming, content, music, movies, or would you do totally something different? We took a call that on a smartphone world, when you download an app, the payment is done automatically at the back. And this is the experience I was experiencing on iTunes Store, Google Play Store in US, except that in India there was not such experience because there was no payment system in India. So I suggested our board that we will build a payment system on the mobile phone, which will work with smartphones, app stores. And this new economy cannot be served with cash on delivery because e-commerce companies do cash on delivery and take the box and give the cash, but you can't do the app and game download and do the cash on delivery. So interesting opportunity for us was to build a payment system for mobile age. Double problem now. First, India didn't have any payment system for last 10 years when the internet was happening. And second, I think anybody who started a payment company wasn't able to be successful uh, as easily as other kind of companies that were being made, built on smartphone systems. So I suggested that we build a payment company with an anchor marketplace on top of it and we'll be successful. So ATM started with a single category of mobile recharge because this is the need that Indians had. And we wanted to solve the payment problem by solving the recharge as a first problem. And then second problem of building other payment and utility services. And then marketplace in due course. Today, Paytm has a 120 million user base and has emerged as a force to reckon with. Today, Paytm does 120 million user base and that makes it largest consumer product in this country built on technology. And interestingly, about one third of them are monthly active. So 37, 38 million would be active of last month users of them. 
And every day we do something like 50 crore rupees of transactions every day. And Paytm does more number of transactions a day than any bank in this country. And probably a little more than half of all Visa, Master, American Express, Diner combined. Our wow is that in 2016, KTM number of transactions will be bigger and more than all Visa, Masters, Diners, MX transactions combined in this country. And we will have at least 200 million subscribers by this year. End. With Shekhar Sharma, the founder of the revolutionary Paytm, walked away with the Entrepreneur of the Year 2015 award in the startup category. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Vijay Shekhar Sharma of 197 Communications. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Time now for a short break, but on the other side, we meet a third generation entrepreneur who's etched his name into the annals of the manufacturing sector by making the Royal Enfield motorcycle sexy again. That's up in a bit.